Hey guys, it's Jason with your Hopium Free Crypto channel. We are just about set to crash through the $47,000 range. And if I can click over, we are there right now. There are all the alerts going off. New day has started three minutes ago. Here is the low. bang, there it goes. Low has been taken out. Now, what I want to see here is it can push down as far as we need it to go. That doesn't matter. That's fine. But we have 24 hours now to reclaim this low level. So $47,000 is the the key here. Remember, this is what we've been talking about for weeks now. Everyone's been calling bull market, bull market, bull market. I have been saying bull market long term. This is the period here that we've been looking at that has been we just don't know. It's uncertain through this period. We had pushes down, pushes up. This day was looking all right. This was May 10th. We had high volume. I've talked, this was on a video previously, high volume. Remember to like the video up as well. Uh, and the, the market moved up. Next day was okay. We had a reversal, higher close. Yesterday, took out these lows, took out the next lows. It's what we've been following on the channel. When we take out major lows, which are looking to support the market, it's not a good sign. So we've crashed through those. Best case scenario right here is that we just had a little break through this low and that we that we spend the rest of the 24 hours just shooting straight up. You know, that's going to be the best case scenario. Uh, worst case scenario is we look for the next level. And the next level after this is here, but it's only minor. And this is a low of 46,400. And then we go to the 43,000. And then we come back and test these highs in the 39,000 to 41,000. So this is what it looks like when, not when doves cry, but this is what it looks like when we're looking at a market and tracking it over days. I'm trying to explain it in a way that makes sense because people have very short-sighted views of the market. We look at it minute to minute, hour to hour. But when I see these things happen, which we talked about on the 18th of April. So nearly four weeks ago now, nearly four weeks ago, this was 11 straight days down. 11 straight days down, guys. Uh, I'm just going to check back to make sure that we are all live and everything is looking sweet and comfy. Uh, Because, yeah, I don't see the comments and stuff when I switch over to my chart view. Uh, Okay, sales are coming. See you in four years. I'm not sure whether it's over for four years yet. 1300 online. If you haven't already, make sure you liked up the video. Subscribe. You know all the good stuff. I've mentioned to you guys, if you've come across from Twitter, let me know. I just mentioned, or did I say that? No. Lucky I did that, huh? I am going, one second, I'm just going to let Twitter know. But this is what I'm seeing so far. Boom. All right. Twitter is notified. Instagram is notified. If you're over from Instagram, let us know. Let us know. I see a lot of comments about tes- Tesla and Elon Musk. What? Where I've come from, I went to the gym this morning. I had some breakfast. I turned my computer on and I saw Bitcoin was falling. Oh, we just, we've just clum- climbed back up above the, the low. So I, I saw uh, <laughs> I saw the markets falling and I'm like, look, this is what I've been expecting. I'm ex- uh, I'll show you. For new people who are just probably flicking on, this is the chart that we've been looking at on the channel now for, you guys tell me, has it been two weeks? I think it was from about 54K, probably about that day. Yeah, coming up to two weeks. So my level here was 60,500. See how we got so close. 59,500, 59,600. I, yes, I did have a lot of bullish views of other altcoins. It's always going to rely on Bitcoin. Can Bitcoin hold its game? So let's, let's address the question, is it over as well? Panic buy, sell all your doge. Um, let's, let's address the question, is it over? It's still early days because we only just took out that low. The next thing that I go and have a look at, this is just on my 
my watch list, like my checklist, go and look at the major cryptocurrencies, the major cryptos, and they're pairing against BTC. So I'm on Cardano. You guys that love Cardano, while we are dumping on Bitcoin, Cardano is going up against BTC value. Remember, this is early days. I'm not getting my, my wallet out yet and just going shopping. Like this might be the 5% sale at the shops, but maybe we're going to see a 40% sale. I, I don't know yet because I don't see a, a reversal in the market. I'm not going to be one of these fools that just says buy the dip on everything. I want a good piece of the action. And you remember, <laughs> yeah, sell the ADA. A ADA's going up against Bitcoin value. ADA's going up. Um, what's this here? For Elon to say something like that on Bitcoin could land him in trouble. They see very good chance his Twitter account was hacked. Ah, yeah, there you go. Well, look, we could see part of it on the chart anyway, and it just goes with the story of what we can see on the chart. No one could predict it if Elon said something on Twitter, but you can see in the chart weeks before that there was weakness in Bitcoin. And the news stories that you're hearing, what have I got here, all, all kind of the news stories that you're hearing are just part of the narrative to go with the overall trend. That's why the news is always second to us. The news is always second to retail. The people who know what's going on, you can see it on the charts. They're affecting the charts before you see it in the news. Until people understand that, they will keep losing to the market. Look at Cardano uh, shoot up against its Bitcoin value. Cardano is up. Let's look at Ethereum. Ethereum is down heavy on dollar value, but look at the buys come in. This low was just taken out and it's now reversing pretty hard on, ex on oh no, this is a, this is good volume here. Yesterday's bar was extreme. Let me see the BTC. Oh my gosh, look at ETH go. We're getting to, we've hit 8% of Bitcoin's value, which is, I'm going to bring out this other screen. Uh, exciting times. So we're going to coin market cap. $2.1 trillion. You guys can't see this yet, but um, ETH is at $430 billion and Bitcoin is at $900 billion. It's nearly at 50%. I'm going to bring out another screen in just, just a moment. So I hope you're starting to get that now. If you're Hands up if you've been following me for, for months, maybe even a few weeks and you're starting to get the charts. Just show your little emojis there. Hands up. Because if you're following that, and this isn't like my own brilliance or anything, it's the stuff that I've been learning for 10 years. Anyone can teach themselves. This isn't like some special secret source that only I know and you have to pay me for it. It's free information out there. It's just a matter of applying it. And I've just been applying it longer than the majority of people. That's it. Uh, ratio gang, let's have a look at this. Just as a bit of, a little bit of fun. So yeah, what, what I was talking about there is you can find it from GAN. GAN analysis, WD GAN, G-A-N-N, -N, uh, Wyckoff theory, it's all there. It's Everything is out there. But if you're not committed to learning a new craft that will take you years, then forget about it. You can start off and learn some nice, simple tools initially, and that will keep you reasonably safe, and that will keep you in the game long enough to, to learn a lot more, to, to improve your skills. So like I've always, people message me and say, you know, is this course going to help me? Da, da, da. I said, everything is free online. All I do with the course is that I structure it to save you time. That's, that's what's there. Plus you have a community of people that you can talk to and discuss different trades. So if anyone from the community is online, hit us up. <laughs> Bull market's over. You guys are crazy. Yeah, but how much do you have left? So I'm looking at your comments now. How much have you got in the bags to be able to buy the dips? It's like, this is like the big dick uh, saying, sorry, Janik. It's like the, the big dick thing that everyone says, oh, I'm out there buying the dip. Look at all the Twitter posts. It'll be, oh, buy the dip, guys, buy the dip. I do it for a bit of fun, but it's like, unless you have a target of where you think these things are going to drop to, you can be buying this dip all the way down and then you're, then you're over. Crashes. <laughs> No one sets a time frame for these things. No one sets a time. that You'll hear tons of people talk about a particular time, date, price. It's all BS, guys. It's 100 
and 50% BS. It's 100% BS. You can have a rough guide of where you think things are going. That's for sure. All right. Tes there's, there's stuff going with... There's so much to keep up with when it comes to stop, uh, to, to the news. All right, I've got Tesla here. I'm going to look at it. What's the big deal? What did, what did Elon say on Twitter? I'm going to have a look at that. You guys will probably know. I just look at the charts. Elon Musk, 54 million. Tesla and Bitcoin. Tesla has suspended vehicle purchases using Bitcoin. We're concerned about rapidly increasing use of fossil fuels for Bitcoin mining and transactions. I'll uh, I'll change screen so you can see this as well. Where's my StreamYard video details? Close, dashboard, close. All right. 2700 online. I hope you guys are liking up the stream and enjoying what we've got going on here. Like, subscribe if you're new. We're, we're smashing our way. Oh, thank you for the super chats as well. I'll have a look at those in just a sec. We are crushing our way towards 150K and we'll get to 200 this cycle. We, we, we should be getting there. Uh, I will share my screen so you can see what is going on. Not my entire screen application. Okay. Oh, no. I'll do my entire. No, application, that's the one. All right, that's what I see. I'm looking at you guys. Tesla share price, 59. It's not going to affect them. I mean, the share price is the share price. This is what Elon Musk said here. All right. Uh, Tesla has suspended vehicle purchases using Bitcoin. We are concerned about rapidly increasing use of fossil fuels for Bitcoin mining and transactions, especially coal, which has the worst emissions of any fuel. Cryptocurrency is a good idea on many levels, and we believe it has a promising future, but this cannot come at a great cost to the environment. Tesla will not be selling any Bitcoin, and we intend to use it for transaction as soon as mining transactions to more as soon as mining transactions to more sustainable energy. We are looking we are also looking at other cryptocurrencies that use that use less than one percent of Bitcoin's energy transaction. Stephen Mark Ryan. This is uh, solving the money problem. So he's on YouTube as well, about 190,000 Aussie guy. 3,000 of you online. I only see a few hundred likes. Get over there, like the stream up. Like it up. Let's get to 1,000 likes. Come on, 3,000 of you. Let's keep going. Uh, Pomp, Elon, you realize that 70% of miners use renewable energy, right? Let's like it. Let's like your Pomp. This energy store has been debunked over and over again. All right. If Elon gets a, hand, a hang of this, has an interview with uh, Pomp on Pomp's channel. So if you guys don't know Anthony Pomp, Pompliano, uh, also got his channel, the uh, whatever it's called, Pomp, Anthony, I think it's of his name, 800,000 followers. He can get talking to Pomp. Pomp can sort it out with Elon and maybe we'll have a reversal of, of this decision here. In the meantime, we should probably keep a track of the Bitcoin price. See, we had a little touch down below that low. It made it to my 46K level, my buy level. Uh, I want to see what happens the rest of this day. We might get a nice little bounce back from here should this uh, this calm down. But it's only a couple of thousand a couple of thousand dollars anyway. I'm not that phased. 48,000, 48.8. Look at the volume starting to come in here. All right, where are we on the hourly chart? Four hour. Yeah, that's that's looking all right. So the main the main things that we're noting here, remember, Bitcoin support levels, it's broken down. We're waiting to see a higher close. It's going to start from the lower time frames and build its way up. Hourly, four hourly, 12 hours, one day. The target at the end of this is to first close in this range. So see this bar here? Yes, I'm not using colored candles. For all the children out there, I'll show you some colored candles. There you go. And then let's have, let's go back to the, the white bars so that we can reduce the noise. Because as you can see, the amount of noise that is coming into the market right now with the amount of comments and people freaking the hell out and all this sort of stuff, you need to make trading life easy. The targets I have here, are, we've got one hour. 
Let's start at the one hour. We've got 41 minutes to go. We want to close in this bar here. That's not going to get us out of the out of the crap right now, but it's a it's a small start. If we close, this close starts to break this high now, that's a good sign. Then we want to close above this close as well. So there's some good signs early on, but it's a micro scale. Just remember that it's a micro. It looks like we're probably going to come back and test the close of the of the previous bar. So that's a good sign. Volume is pretty good. Had a nice dip down. Then apply those same things to the next uh, the next time frame. That's the word I'm looking for. Four hour, twelve hour, one day, and see if you can close up there. This is an example of that happening. Four hour, we're down, closed below, closed above. All right, so we got some sideways period. Then this was the last low, and see how that spiked into this low and tested the the low price, went below it, and then it closed well and truly into those bars, into this region here. That's what you want. And the volume was the highest it was of the previous, whatever that is, 30, 30 bars or something like that. Uh, and that shows the sign of strength. And then we got the reversal from that point. Again, four hourly chart. So you had a minor move from those lows. That's that's basically just trading the market. Uh, thank you for being here. All right, let's, let's go back to your comments, guys. Sorry, I'm going to do this weird screen share thing. I see, uh, is that a love symbol? and a dog and a something goat. All right, I'll take that. Uh, Phil, dear, dear Jason, thank you for being here for us through the dips and the bad news. You're sincerely the noobs. The noobs. Thank you. Zoom out. Yes, we know. Shout to Jason. That is my name too. Welcome. I won't sell yet. Good. Love hearts. ETH. Okay. 49,000. See how this is recovering now? Good stuff. Mm. Yeah, learn to read a chart. That's all I'm going to say here. I bang on about that often because unless you can, then you just start to freak out in a lot of these things and you're just waiting to hear someone else's viewpoint of the news, what's going to happen. You want them to make you feel better. Don't lie to yourself. That's exactly why we all come online. 3,700 of you, like up the stream, like it up, sub, Twitter, Instagram, all links down below. So you can keep abreast of this, keep a track of it and uh, ask your questions over on Instagram. Follow me on Instagram, daily q and So I'm going to get back to a few more of those as well after I get off the live stream. We've been going for about 15, 20 minutes. Thank you for all of your support, 3,700 of you. You guys want to see some Ethereum. Shall we bring, oh, shall we bring the color back just to get some color in our lives in these dark times? Uh while you while you answer, I can see your answers over here. Huge rally. <clears throat> bring the color back. You guys are saying, yeah, bring bring the color back. Uh, we're looking at the coin market caps. This is what I was checking out here. I'm going to refresh. We're at 900 billion now for Bitcoin, 440 billion for ETH. Here is our ratio gang. 49%. We're nearly at 50% of Bitcoin's value for ETH. The flippening occurs once ETH gets to uh, $7,942 if Bitcoin remains at the same price, which I, I don't think. I don't think Bitcoin's going to remain at that 49K or whatever it's at at the moment. Uh, sorry, I'll get to your uh, super chats. The Hard Rock Hippie. Hey, Jason, thanks for all the good you do. Have you looked at EQZ? I haven't. No. I have not seen it. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, back to the charts. Just saw your super chat, so I wanted to get across to those. ETH, is this the end of the bull run? No, we've been talking about that for the last 20 minutes. If you are just tuning in, make sure you're liking, subscribe to the channel, bell notification icon so you can see when I post about this stuff. And I talk about it. The guys who've been following for a while understand now. They're starting to get it. I've seen your comments. So thank you very much. Make sure you leave those on the video. Uh, and then I can check in and have a look at those comments. I, I had a message from a friend this morning about Filecoin. And it was at 30 bucks. And he's saying, oh, it looks like accumulation. Should I buy? I said, I don't think it looks like accumulation. I think it's not going to hold $128. Boom. It just crushed. And now Filecoin has hit its previous support levels. 
See just this this area here. Beautiful. So in terms of a buy the dip, now that is looking a hell of a lot nicer. There you go, 30% down. Um, I'll make, should I sell ETH? A lot of people asking this question. Heavy, heavy down. All right, what's ETH down to? I look at the bounce back. It's down 12% from the all-time high. Only 12% down. We're, we've got a, a lot more time to go. Remember that as well. This is the start of a new day. We're 20 minutes into the new trading day. All right, so a lot of different things can happen. I'm, I'm only on a four-hour chart. A four-hour chart does not call the market the macro time frames. I'm sure you'll see plenty of YouTube channels just looking at hourly charts and four-hourly charts. They are not a place to be basing your long-term views on. They're just a place to be talking about like we are now, about some news, about to keep it interesting. That's about it. Let's let's throw some color into here. I think I saw you guys mentioning you want to see some color. Um, okay, so, oh, wow. That's, I think we'll get a rebound, but then it's going to be a tricky period here because this is on a, a micro scale. This is a broadening structure. See, so it's like a megaphone. Those aren't necessarily bearish, but they're definitely not bullish. When price gets wild like this, that's uh, high volatility at the peaks, which from Wyckoff theory talks about it being distribution, meaning selling. But I want to look at it on a major time frame, see what happens at the end of this day, see if we can get some more buyback. Uh, some more support here at 3,500 because I suspect I suspect these major lows will hold here. This one's at 3,166. That's my next major low I've got here. See the volume on that day? And then it was just off to the races. If we, uh, the, I'm pretty sure these 2,000s are going to hold. I'm not really like – I don't like to say super uh, affirmative – decisions on the market because it can change at any time and i just want to have a bit of a guidance in the direction that i'm going but looking at these which i've talked about many times before in terms of ethereum these lows look like they should hold for some time if they don't then that is a my opinion of course very bad sign from what i've learned when it comes to huge volume getting bought up at lows if the market structure breaks those down it's a uh, it's a change in market sentiment. It's a long way off from where we are, but that's cryptocurrency. That's the way crypto works. And if you want to be getting in and out at these higher peaks, then you really need to be watching the market pretty regularly and have your areas of support and resistance. If it breaks a certain level, I'm out. If, it, if I'm wrong so that you can get back in, then you have to have another level that the market has to move back above and break to tell you that we are confirmed bullish. If you make up levels and think of things and feel things, you'll probably get crushed. So the, that's why the best way is just to, to buy and hold, then have a price target, have your exit plan that you have in mind and get out. Don't just ride these things forever. That was the point that I was making a couple of weeks ago to the Investor Accelerator crew. You can find a link to that in the description down below. Uh, I was looking at consoli oh, I keep dropping. consolidating my, my altcoin positions when Bitcoin was showing those uh, minor signs of weakness. It, was, it kept bouncing around between the slightly weak. There's a few more extra weak signals, a few more bullish signals, but it hadn't broken down yet like it just did today. And so the way I was playing it to take a, uh, to make the best of both worlds, I had a lot of shit, shitty positions, So which I was just looking at to trade because they look like good setups on the chart. When I saw Bitcoin wasn't doing so well, I just wanted to consolidate some of those positions and put them back into projects which I was happy holding longer term and that were holding up stronger in the market. Something stronger is, uh, say, like Ethereum, of course, and Cardano. So these were holding up while the dumps and the dips were happening. Cardano prices shot down. We're back above. There's the support. 100%. We're just above. Volume's not really coming in on this drop, which is good. You just want to see volume coming in as we shoot up. 4,400 online. This is huge. Big day. Bitcoin crypto is crashing. If you haven't already liked up the stream, if you're finding some value, if, you're, if you can spare that little tap, go for gold. 
but this is the chart I want to look at. So Cardano is still moving up against Bitcoin value while Bitcoin has shocked the market. Bitcoin's now 49,500. Looking, we're going to get some green. We're going to cross to green in a second. It's got to get above 49,580. Fading again. All right, once it can get above that, 49,588. So when's this green? Oh, it's got to get above this close. 49,614. My, my bad. All right. Uh, I'll come across to your comments again if you've got comments and super chats and all that sort of jazz. I'll just turn off this screen share. 4,500. Massive. Thank you, guys. We are all George. I'm right, back to you guys now. So I basically covered that and what I'm looking at from Bitcoin's point of view, what I was looking at weeks ago when Bitcoin started to break down, the 11, uh, great mellow neutral commentary, excellent, mellow and neutral. When Bitcoin began to break down, 11 straight days down. I, tell me if someone else was ma paying attention to 11 straight days down because I want to follow those guys. Uh, that's, a, that's a very significant change in market sentiment, in market movement. Please do more of these. <laughs> I mean, look, I've been on online for, for years. <laughs> we are all Jason. That's the only one that replaces we are all George. Uh, anyone to a fork in the road? Many hard fork. Ada, blah, blah, blah. All right. Uh, let me just get rid of this. Safe moon. <laughs> Should I hold my ADA? I bought a $1.64 with 10x leverage. Also, what should I buy right now? Am I really getting this? What have I done to deserve this? Why are you buying things on 10x leverage without a plan? Why? Answer me that. 4,800 of you. Thank you, guys. Uh... What are the energy cryptos that use less than 1% of Bitcoin energy? I don't know. Buy more proof of stake. Look, at the end of the day, if you've got proof of stake or, or mining, I've, I've talked about this before. Yeah, I'll, uh, whoops. Why did AVEX just dump? Uh, I put this on my Twitter as well. It was a setup. It was looking good. Don't know what to buy. Okay. So many comments. All right. What I'm talking about here, we were... Now I've lost my train of thought. Let's go back to some questions. Remind me what I was talking about. <laughs> Serious question. No, I am not high. I've got two big bright lights in front of me and it's, it's daytime outside. Uh, I love natural sunlight. I despise uh, white lights in my face. And I have a six-month-old baby as well. And it's a bull market, so not much sleep. Proof of stake. Proof of stake. That's where we were. That's what we we're looking at. You got mining. Let's talk about this. You got mining. You got proof of stake. I'm not always right. You guys have your own opinions as well. This is my opinion of proof of stake and mining. Mining costs energy. Energy costs money. Yes, it's going to pollute some areas of the world. Stake, proof of stake. What do you need to, have, to be involved in proof of stake? You need money. So you have to have money to buy the coins. How do you get money? Money comes from using energy. Energy pollutes. It's the same. It's the same, except you just can't measure the proof of stake energy use as you can with the proof of mining use. That's, that's it. If, I, if you want to go out and buy 32 ETH, 32, because the the node is 32 ETH, 32 ETH, at, um, it's $3,800 US, $121,000. How much energy is going to need to be expended to get $121,000 just to run one Ethereum node? Like, how do you answer that question? 
it could come from a number of sources, but it is still going to cost something. It's going to cost some sort of pollution. Flippening. Flippening is just when Ethereum, when, I say when, some people say if or never, but I'm saying when Ethereum crosses Bitcoin's market cap, not the price of Bitcoin. Bitcoin, we've just hit $50,000, 50200 50, that we're back into the 50s. <clears throat> I think a lot of people are going to be feeling a little bit relieved from this. Uh, to me, I'm not quite sure yet. I want to see some sort of structure, and I'm happy to say that. Like I said, if we got through 54K, then um, it was looking at more signs of weakness. All right, what other questions you guys got? Let's have a look. They don't have weed in Australia. <laughs> I think they do. How much further can it go? Is it bear time? No, I don't. I don't think it's long-term bear time. We've talked. We looked at this earlier in the stream. We're thirty minutes on, and bear. I'm looking at the Bitcoin pairings. If you don't understand that, make sure you start to learn and watch the videos. Um, what's this? Sorry, it's tons of comments going on. Okay, all I'm talking about here, Bitcoin pairing for the cryptocurrency, open those up on a chart and you will see that several of them, well, many of them, you want to look at major market leaders and that they are increasing in Bitcoin value and Bitcoin is dumping at the moment. That just shows me there's still some strength in the market. It's not saying we're at the end of a bull market. It's not saying we're at the end of a bear market or we're going to uh, flip over to a bear market. I'm just seeing that people aren't getting scared out of all positions at the same time. <laughs> Looks like I just woke up. Uh, I was up at like 4.30. That's probably why I don't look all that crash hot. 4.30, doing some Twitter at 5, I think. And then I got off to the gym, came home, ate some breakfast. I actually cooked breakfast for Beth. And now I'm here. Talk about VET. All right, let's have a look at VET on the chart. Uh, how about we get to, how many likes do we have? I can only see 1,200. If we get to 1,500 likes, let's look at some VET. It's all, <laughs> show us the gym pump. Oh, I don't have much of a gym pump. That's nothing. Look at that. It's so deflated because I'm doing CrossFit, not like weights. Who is blaming uh, Elon Musk? Hopefully, it's a joke. Hopefully, you guys are joking around blaming uh, Elon Musk. Thanks, Mark. <laughs> 5,000. All right, let's go have a look at VET and ETC. You guys are nuts. Crybabies, yeah. If you're blaming someone else, you obviously don't have a plan or you just want to blame someone else. I think I see that often when it comes to other, when you're making predictions about something, I don't want to start like blaming two other many people because then it's me. I'm not really blaming, but people will make predictions about certain prices and time frames and, and all this sort of stuff. And then if they don't come true, guess what they'll do? They'll blame it on someone else. It was manipulated. It was rigged. It was this, it was that. No. It's all Elon's fault, though. <laughs> all right. Share screen. Let's have a look because you guys absolutely love VET. I reckon that's George's fault that you all love VET. It's got to be George's fault. All right. Let's have a look. Wow. Zen. How is Zen still going up? I don't understand this. What is happening? No one talks about Horizon Zen. This thing has gone from six bucks less, like four dollars, and it's one hundred and forty-three dollars. This is like one of my my legacy coins from twenty seventeen. I was just like, oh, I'll just keep buying in its range. Look at the look at the accumulation zone, freaking rocket. Anyway, uh, you guys wanted to see to to whoa, I got crushed on this one on YFI. 
put that one up yesterday. We had a nice shoot because we've got the breakout here, but I think we're going to rebound here. This is, I'll get to vet, but this is a good lesson here because YFI uh, has a very low supply. I think it's like 30,000 coins. That's why it, is, it costs so much. This was on yesterday's video. So it's at $70,000. The breakout was at around 60K. It got to nearly 100,000, 96,600. And it's dumped all the way back down to now currently around 70. But because the supply is so low, we get wild fluctuations. So it's very easy for it to go from you know, 15 grand to nearly 100 grand back down to 70 grand. And it could be a $500,000 coin without much effort. Doesn't have to be very high on the market, uh, have a big market cap either. Okay, vet, vet, vet. Vet BTC had a minor breakdown here. We've rebounded. I just don't see much volume coming in. So I suspect VET is, oh, I don't want to be the bearer of bad news in my opinion. <laughs> my own opinion, bad news. That is a critical level on the BTC chart for VET. I'll even give it a bit of wiggle room. Yeah, I would, look, if I had to really, really push to shove and people probably don't want to hear it, I would, oh, right now, from what I can see, this could change if I get a structure set up above sort of that 30, 380 sat level, 400 sat level. But it looks like VET needs some more downside. And to be honest, I think, well, let me have a look at the USD chart. I think most VET holders wouldn't even know the difference if VET fell. If VET lost 30 to 50% of its Bitcoin value, but held its USD value and started to climb in this range between that, you know, 16 to 24 cents, I don't think most VET holders would even know the difference. But they would have been better off just holding Bitcoin because they would have increased their Bitcoin holdings. This is only speculative of what I'm looking at in terms of this chart because I don't see anything that's showing me bullish signs just yet. A couple of, couple of points up here. I've got my alert for the breakdown of these lows and that's what I'm looking for here. See what happens? It goes on this big, big runs, break down, shoot up, break down, 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 down. Oh, back. I'm going to look at a few other a few other tokens here. Uniquely crushed against ETH. Oh, yeah, reversal. That was something I was mentioning to the crew a few weeks ago. So, so back to that point there. Thank you for the likes, guys. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead, click the button and the bell notification icon. This is important stuff. Talking with the Investor Accelerator, which you can also find a link to in the description. That is a paid membership, so uh, just be aware of that. But you can join the free newsletter. The newsletter link is down below free newsletter. I think we've got another one coming out next week because one just went out this week. Um, usually it's once every two weeks, but we talk about crypto markets, the stock markets, property cycles. Uh, and I put this together with my brother who's also been trading for 11 years and also um, heavily into property. So that's the investment side. We're not just cryptocurrency. We look at the market as a whole. Put your email address down there, free. It's all free, okay? Um, what I was discussing with the Investor Accelerator crew is consolidating my positions. And I was talking about that a little bit earlier. Reason being is if some of these small cap cryptocurrencies start to show breaking down, like they're starting to break down, then I suspect they will probably get crushed against their BTC value. Trust swap. I'm just looking at little random ones here. So if that happens, who are we on? Ren. See, Ren is a good example here. Uh, if you're not sure of Ren, doesn't matter. The point is, this was crazy during the DeFi season. So this was DeFi in 2020. It kind of like started to kick off the market. And since, since its peak in August, September, the Bitcoin value of Ren has been crushed. And so this has been, we'll probably come up to 12 months. We're at nine months now. 250 days of losses on Bitcoin value. So... The dollar value doesn't look so bad. Well, I mean, it does, it does with Ren. It's been crushed in half again, and they were my little uh, accumulation zones. The point I'm making here is uh, 
I'm just looking to consolidate so that I don't get crushed against my Bitcoin value because the purpose, my purpose in a bull market is to make more Bitcoin because generally 99% of these cryptocurrencies will get crushed against their Bitcoin value regardless of how fantastic they are. Ren is legit. I, I'm, I don't have anything against Ren. I'm just using the chart as an example here. It's an example of the the strength of Bitcoin and how these little coins will pump on their Bitcoin value and then and then drop. If you're buying into these lows, which majority of people aren't because people don't generally buy lows, they generally buy tops. Uh, it's just shown in charts. Then you're still up on your your rent, but you're just down a lot from the top. So you've looked. We've looked at VET. We looked at Cardano. ETC crushed. Crushed. Uh, 50%. Are we a little more than 50% now? 48. The low is 53. Okay. So, oh, it's all Helen's fault though. I've still got that on the screen. Polygon. All right, I've got your, I can see some of your questions now. Qtum. I, I haven't looked at Qtum. Let's have a, a quick look at Qtum. I mean, it's coming down at the moment. You just want to see some support holding uh, about there, 17 bucks. And then when I look at swings, you definitely want to see the swings hold. You can see that the market sentiment change with the volume. So this day was a big, strong rally day. So once it breaks down from those days, that generally means that the market sentiment is probably on a shift, is on a change. And that just comes from Wyckoff theory. That's why we were looking at, I'm just using the exact same rules across all the markets. That's all I'm doing here. So that's why I was using the 18th of April, 18th of April, this day here, as the anchor point for the market. If we could break above this level, then we're looking bullish. Do you see how we just we came so close to it and we just couldn't get there, couldn't get there, couldn't get there, and then we see the the breakdown. So that's why this chart has had this labeled, plastered all over it for weeks. That's the that's the shift there. I've got 54. Anything under 54 because it started to form a base at around 54. And we see we got higher lows, higher lows. It was a 53 and a half, but less than 54. And then we happened to hit it on the fourth time down, crushed. Chain link. <laughs> Alex Becker has it sussed. Yeah, I was I was uh, agreeing with his saying we're going to get another crash down on Bitcoin because like I've talked about for weeks. 11 straight days down on Bitcoin. People weren't paying attention to it. They got slapped in the face. This is it here. Let me get rid of some of these lines. And I'll give you some color back to your life. Don't. This is why the color throws people off. See how this is green and this is green? These aren't up days. The, the day is actually lower low and a lower high. It's only that the close was higher but I can't change that in this software. And TradingView doesn't have it. It's only in a software called Optima that I've seen. And Optima is like two grand a year plus a monthly fee. I mean, we could do it, but I just use white bars. It's so much easier. This is an inside day, down, down, down. All I'm looking at here is high, uh, lower highs, lower lows. And if they happen to be inside like this one, I'm still counting it as down, down, inside, down, 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 11 days. People didn't pay attention to that and we get crushed again. This is a big difference in the the Bitcoin structure over the last 10 years. I don't think we've seen an 11 days down on Bitcoin. So 11 was up here. I know this looks messy. The previous uh, structure we had breakdowns were six days about eight days, about nine days. So this has been the biggest one we have seen that I've looked back over five years of history in Bitcoin's history. <clears throat> so <sighs> I 
I reckon people are calling for head and shoulders here. Anyone calling for a head and shoulders? Where's my brush? Here. Shoulder, head, shoulder. Anyone calling? All right, back to your questions. 5,200 online. Thank you, guys. What do you think about Cartesi? I have not even looked at Cartesi. Thank you for the super chat. 10 bucks. What? Cartesi, Cartesi. All right, let's have a look at... I'm going to change screens and I'll look at coin market cap. Is it on here? Give me something else to look at rather than charts. Cartesi. Get your comments in. Cartesi, 300 million. Where are we at? Wow. Well, 5,000 people online. Are, are you listening? Are you here? Are you here? Hands up. Okay. Generally, when you hear of a crypto that has been spruiked a lot, not every single time because it can go up a lot more, but when you hear about it, it's usually at these times in a market where they have spiked to new all-time highs. This is the problem with retail and why they always get destroyed because they only buy into things when they're at their highs and they hear about them when they're at their highs. Cartesi just was at a high of $1.70. I'm sure it's probably a lot more because the, the data here isn't 100% crisp and it's basically gone 50% down. You're here. Thank you, guys. Everybody is here. So Cartesi, I, I don't know. What do they do? Making smart contracts to the next level. It's solving the urgent problem of scalability and high fees on blockchains by implementing a variant of optimistic roll-ups. Most notably, Cartesi is revolutionizing smart contracts program by allowing developers to code with mainstream software. So... Yeah, I think they've got good marketing from what I've seen. I've seen a lot of people talk about them. Nano. No result? What are you on about no result? What was Nano called? It wasn't always... Nano, it is there. Wasn't it Rayblox? Nano, Nano used to be Rayblox, or was that a different one? Uh, 1.6 billion just started to break its new uh, break into recent highs but yeah the old highs were this was a pump and a half coin it was like nothing it was like a cent and then it went to 30 something dollars so it got a, a ton of attention back in 2017 peak of 13 bucks currently at 12 dollars All right, what do you guys got here? Chart for Wink, Nano, Cartesi. <laughs> XRP, Ada, Poker. We've looked at Ada early on. Ada is Trias. Ada is looking reasonably good because it's increasing against its Bitcoin value. Bitcoin is now sitting at $50,000. Right, let's just go back to coin market cap. All right, it's floating around 50k. Doge has been hit reasonably hard, but I guess that's to be, to be expected after such a big pump. 42 cents. Cardano looks like it's holding pretty steady. It's still holding above its uh, its previous all time highs. So this was the breakout. This was on that video that I, I suspect many of you have watched. So there was a video over uh, a couple of weeks or a week or so ago as it broke through its high of a dollar fifty five. Uh, that did pretty well, had about 150,000 views. And this was looking at the, the breakout, the fourth time through that high. XRP also slammed today. Polkadot getting hit. ICP on the dive, 23% down. I suspect that's the early investors just cashing out on the market. 30, it, it launched over $34 billion valuation. Was it like $50 billion valuation or something as it came out onto coin market cap? Um, Bitcoin Cash, it's like a, a non-contender, but I think people just see it as a, a cheap Bitcoin when they're, they're not the same project. Litecoin also gets crushed. It has not had its spike that we've been hoping for. Uniswap, Uniswap holding up all right. 
only a percent, one percent. Chainlink, a bit hammered, eleven percent. Yeah, look, it's crushed through the lows. Stella, why Stella? Stella is a disappointment. Solana, Solana is holding up. Glad that's in the portfolio. Chainlink getting a little bit crushed, but it is at all-time highs, so it has pushed through the all-time highs. Ethereum Classic crushed to be expected. EOS crushed. It's it's really doing nothing. It, it, I mean, it had it, it got ten billion dollars together to create an exchange. It launched with uh, four billion dollars in ICO funds, and now they need another ten billion for an exchange. I don't know. It just seems like it just keeps trying and trying. Uh, Theta, Theta, oh. Theta is down and down on seven days. Theta is on my watch list. I wanted it to get to around four or five bucks to get in. It's a, it's it's basically call it ten dollars now. Let's have a look at Theta. Theta is interesting. Uh, CRO. I I haven't even looked at CRO. I suspect they've been crushed as well. Let's have a look at um, Theta first. Look at a good project here. $9.60. Yeah, okay. All right, it was still in a sideways range, so there's nothing really going on here. It hasn't broken down past its support levels. If it gets past the 7 bucks, then yeah, we are, we are going. We are going to test 660. We're going to test 4 in the 4s. That's what I want to see from Theta before I think about getting back in. Oh, sorry, I haven't even I haven't even gone into Theta before. I just missed all this run. Everyone's like, yeah, Theta, 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 but I'm waiting on this dump. It looks, I, I would say now that Theta is heading down, but it can take some time. This isn't going to happen. I don't think it's going to happen tomorrow. If it does, I'll be very surprised. But I think this is going to take weeks, if not months. I'm saying that because, and I think some of the others are going to start playing out like this, like this chart. We got a high. This was a fake, a fake breakout, and then this high, lower, and lower than the previous high. So we have lower highs at the moment. We still have a higher high here. One high, uh, sorry, higher low. This is a, a low, another low, another low at the moment, but it's not confirmed. So the thing to look at here is, do we start to get a breakdown below $8.50 and then past our 50% level? Then I think we were, we'll be in for something that looked like rent where we just head down to some support levels around this um, $2 to $5 region, something in there. At the extreme, at the extreme two bucks, at the peak, you know, something like five-ish dollars, something in the $5 area. So theater is on my watch list for those reasons. Uh, yeah, BTC chart is not looking healthy at the moment so you know something like that could definitely happen we're sideways and then down and it's not extreme it's just like a bleed out there's there's not nothing too extreme in here just bleeds out that's why i keep coming back to consolidating consolidating into projects which are looking strong at the moment what are strong projects looking like at the moment solana if it starts to get a a pattern like theta see that and then it starts to go on these, it's going to tell you that we're probably going down for several months. It takes some time to build back up. Serum, also on the decline. This was one that was I've been talking about a lot. Oh, look, it's holding above the support levels, so I'm, I'm, I'm not getting out until I see a breakdown into the old zone. But when we get to a changing point, there is going to be losses occurred. You'll have to you'll have to take some losses at some point. You can't just keep buying and buying and buying forever. Radium got hit. See, radium's back into this zone here. Big volume on the way down. That's not a very strong sign. I think these projects will do great long term. Don't get me wrong with that. They're they're definitely in the space that I think is going to do very well. But I think the the whole space at the moment is probably going to take a bit of a rest. So, all right, I'm saying that blatantly, but it's like there are some things that are going to hold up okay and there are other things which aren't. And we've looked at some of those already. Uh, all right, have a look at your super chats. 
Um, Antonio, five bucks. Thank you. Buying bread from a man in Brussels. He was six. Is what is this? <laughs> He was six foot four and full of muscle, said, do you speak my language? He just smiled and gave me a Vegemite sandwich. Thank you. Five dollar. Thoughts on DAG, Constellation. DAG is uh, something that was brought out last cycle. IOTA was the one that was really pumping the DAG narrative. I don't know how much they've done. What I don't even what do you want me to look up? Is it DAG coin or DAG? Um, right, just DAG is in the crypto the technology. Oh, constellation. Okay, I see what you're saying. I mean, it looks a bit similar to the last ones, right? You had a, a top, a consolidation, a breakout, and it's fake breakout, a fake out because it went above the old high, and now it's back into this consolidation zone. This is what I don't want to happen to ADA. See how ADA is slightly different? It's broken out and we're still holding above, but if it breaks back into this zone, then we're back into accumulation. All right, looking at, I'm just looking at this closer. See the volume? We've retested this whole bar, which we've talked about before, as not being a, a, such a good thing high volume on this top, low low volume on this next push. There I go, I can see better. It's still stronger than the last couple we've looked at, that pattern. BTC, new, new highs for ADA BTC. Oh, speaking of ADA, I've got a staking pool, which you can find a link to down below. Staking pools ticker is TIA, the investor ex the investor accelerator. So you can find that. Um, check it out. Stake your ADA over there. And then you've obviously got my updates on YouTube to stay informed about Cardano pricing. So yeah, if you guys want to stake your ADA, link is down below. There's 5,000 of you online. There's got to be someone who's got ADA and wants to stake it. We've got... Uh, yeah, we got a big pledge over there as well. So we're looking good. Thoughts on Algorand? 50, what's what's 50 Hong Kong dollars worth? Is that HK is obviously Hong Kong? HK. Is it one to one or less? Oh, it's eight bucks. There you go. <laughs> Must be like six US dollars or something. Okay, Algorand, let's have a look at Algorand. Do I even have Algo? I did have Algo. It's on my, my 52, my 52 altcoins video. Go and check that out on the channel, 52 altcoins. Algorand sideways, no breakouts, no breakdowns. It's sideways at the moment. Volume is drying up. What's it on BTC? Same deal, sideways. Volume's drying up. Probably not what you want to see as the market goes up. But if we can get some breaks with some volume, some breaks above key resistance levels with some volume, then we're, you know, th then the engine starts to turn over. We're ticking along. Open up the channel, 4,600 on. Thank you, guys. You're liking it up. We're nearly at 2,000 or maybe we're over 2,000 likes. Thank you. So yeah, hit me up with some questions because we'll jump off off soon. You don't need to leave, but I want to hear your questions so we can get back to those about the market. So are you still freaking? Filecoin's probably the biggest hit so far. Look at that. File. Biggest winners and losers so far today because we're only an hour into the day, remember? Poker starter. Oh, barely anything, but it looks big. CRV. Curve is up. Avalanche is up, hot up, but not a good looking chart here from Hollow Token. TVK, did it get hit real hard? No, TV, TVK didn't even get hit as hard as some of the majors. So maybe a lot of the bleeding is done on TVK. 
not saying it's going to hold its low, but it's it didn't react like the rest of the market, which is a good sign. Just meaning a lot of the bleeding may have been done, which means like myself, I'm just holding it. I'm not interested in selling it at whatever price. So maybe there's a lot more holders now and you're just waiting for the buyers to come back in. CRO was one that would be interesting to look at. They usually get hit on sort of days like this. And that's one of my uh, one of my favorites. CRO, BTC. Wow. I'm on a daily chart too. Nothing's happened. Okay. Spike down, a little move up. Probably trickle down to get again to the 250 level. CRO USD, 15 cents. Okay. USD value has been hit. Hit from 17 cents to 15 cents now at a low of 14. Back into this zone. So that's, yeah, it's rolling over at this point. All right, over to your questions. Uh, Rune is the best upcoming project. Okay, <laughs> thanks for the four New Zealand dollars. Bitcoin Diamond, come on. Brian, thanks for all the helpful information. I've learned a lot. Have you looked into Trias? I have not looked into Trias. This is the one only time I'm going to look into Trias because it's that sort of chart. Guys, literally, thank you for the 10 bucks. All right, I'm not being ungrateful for that, but you can really save yourselves a lot of time and heartache if you just look at charts. Had lines on here. Oh my God, lines, four hour chart maybe. Just, yeah, straight up and it's coming back down. I suspect we'll probably start to hit some levels of eight bucks, maybe come back and test the five dollars. Worst case scenario, around the the twos to three dollars, because that is the harder they pump, the harder they come down, and that pumped pretty pretty hard. Five uh, five euros. What would be a good entry point on ETH? With let's look at ETH. ETH, ETH, ETH. Look at ETH. What was what was wrong with the low that landed on support of 3,500? The point now is, are you able to stomach further drops? Because you've got some reasonable entry points with reasonable reasons. What am I saying? Um, because you've got this resistance becomes support at 3,500, call it 36. Now, if the market continues to fall from that point, from where we are, how is that going to affect you? What is in your plan? What do you want out of this market? Start asking yourself those questions and go to my YouTube page. Uh, you can look. Let me show you. Let me show you. <clears throat> Chrome, okay, YouTube. Channel, here you go. You just scroll down here, new to Bitcoin, check these videos out, crypto exit plan, uh, $1,000 to invest. Check this one out here, crypto exit plan. That's got wallets. 1,000 to 100,000. They're long videos, right? But I've got so many notes in these things. Invest 100,000, Ethereum all-time highs. Look at those. There's a ton of notes in them. And you can then start to create your own plan as well. And if you want more information, go and sign up to the Investor Accelerator. The link to that is in the description down below. So that's a, a membership, 12-month membership. You'll be with a the crew. There's like 400 people now in the group. Thank you very much to you guys. If you're online, say hi. Uh, and people are learning how to trade and create their own plans as well. Uh, if, you don't, if you're not ready for that, there's a newsletter, free newsletter. Link to that is in the description down below. So just click on that and have a look. Something comes out once every two weeks. Maybe it's once every week. I'm just working on that now. Cool. Back to your questions. 4,200 online. What do we got in, in, in the likes? 
don't forget to jump across to Twitter and Instagram. I'll go and do some Q and A's on Instagram now. After I get off the, the live stream, we're going to answer some of your questions. So Instagram link is down below. Newsletter is down below. SwiftX, if you're trading or you want to look at my hair, if you want to sign up to an Australian exchange, SwiftX, there is a link to that down below as well. Blockfolio, if you're trading and you want to track your portfolio, Blockfolio is a good app for that as well. That's one I use. It's on my Instagram. You see me use that with my uh, my super fund, my, my super annuation, self-managed super fund. I'll get it out. Okay. Uh, ICX, not at this point. We've got 499. I just saw Twitter that Elon Gate token is partnering with Elon Musk, brother. What? Is this real news or what? Uh, Adrian says, five bucks. Thank you very much, Adrian. Thanks for the awesome content. Best work, case, worst case price expectation for Manic by the end of the week. I honestly do not know. In terms of end of week, end of month, this isn't, I think people have been conditioned to look at prices in terms of end of week, end of month. That's the way I see it. Uh, maybe you're asking best price in a time frame. I look at time frames, measure count time frames rather than end of week, end of month, and you'll do a hell of a lot better. Uh, Matic, I don't know in terms of a price, but I'm bullish long-term on Matic, but I think I'll probably get hit after having such a big spike. <laughs> Septentrion. I want to find that. Do you think we should ban Elon from Twitter or does he? Or he does more damage than Trump ever did. <laughs> no, we don't need to ban anyone from Twitter. If people are stupid enough to take it for face value and not do any more research. That's their own problem. That creates some, uh, some opportunities for us in the market. No, nah, keep them on there. Super chats are coming through thick and fast. I saw George's stream yesterday and he said the bigger they are, the longer they'll stay up. So that's his way of, boom, making make bigger bets. I think that's what he's saying there. Uh, okay, Eric says, how long will the crash last? Do you think money liquidated from Bitcoin will flow to alts because of this Elon tweet? Big ADA fan. All right, sweet. Uh, we're looking at Cardano and ADA. It's not falling against its Bitcoin value. The same deal with the with the major alts. So Ethereum, I hadn't seen fall against its BTC value. In fact, it's higher than it was yesterday at the moment. You know, we're only an, an hour into the day. Huge volume yesterday came in for ETH BTC pair. So I don't think the the money is flowing out too hard at the moment. And we can also see that from the coin market cap. It's 2.25 trillion. And yesterday we got a high of about 2.5 trillion. What we are seeing though is Ethereum getting very close to 50% uh, of Bitcoin's value. We're currently at 48.5% of Bitcoin's, Bitcoin's market cap. That is, if we can get to 0 0.081 on ETH BTC pair, we're at halfway to, to Bitcoin's market cap at the current pricing. Slimy, do you think tax season will begin to bleed the crypto market? When is, are you referring to Australian tax season or US? Remember, this is an international market and the big money is not in Australia. It's Asia and the US and stuff like that. So I don't think Australian tax season is going to have any effect on the market. Trias, we've looked at Trias. What I missed, I missed some of your comments. Put them up again. No one cares about Ellen DeGeneres. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that has much to do with it. Benjamin, uh, hope you're having a great day. I am. Do you think crypto is just a fad for people to put all their savings into during COVID? No, no, I don't. Is the bull market over, guys? All right, so first part of the video, we looked at this. We looked at bull market, what the signals that I'm looking for in terms of 
at least the altcoins, we're seeing money flow into the altcoins or the majors anyway. I was talking about consolidating weeks ago, uh, consolidating from uh, crap coins, shit coins into stronger positions. So if you were taking some of those gambles, then it was probably the time to start wrapping those up. Obviously, none of this is financial advice. I, I can't give you financial advice because all your situations are different, et cetera, et cetera. And I'm not a financial advisor. In terms of looking to consolidate, I liked that as an idea because should something go wrong, because I saw 11 straight days down on Bitcoin and that tends to play some effect on the market, then I was looking to hold stronger positions that I liked longer term. You know, I'm happy holding Ethereum. I've held it through the bear market. I know the project is going to do well long term. So the reason for that is rather than getting into uh, stable coins or fiat is because if the market goes up, then I can play both sides. I'm happy holding those stronger positions. And if the market goes up, then I'm going to make the gains on those, those cryptocurrencies too, because they should do well as they're good cryptocurrencies. Yes, I'm still bullish on CRO. The company itself, I think, does very well. The marketing's good. They're getting out there. Their products are good. Their, what, what else do you need? Their products, their services, their marketing, everything is good. They have just been around several years. And so they're basically getting themselves set in a position. I think they'll do very well. Um, I'm not sure whether it's going to be one of those coins that just pumps, but it might be like a slow gainer. And so I've seen that on their pricing. I'm waiting for another low to form. And that's what I'll do with all my cryptocurrencies. If you're sort of following, is you get the idea that I'm always looking to see where the next low is. If the next low is lower than the previous low, then I would say people have lost interest in it and they're not they're just not going to perform. But so far, their lows are getting higher. That's okay. Oh, well, that's a good thing. You want the lows to be getting higher and higher. Both US taxes are coming up and AU is in a few months. Oh, is that when... Oh, so the US has to pay their taxes now. Like, it's due. Because I, I remember the US is like a 1st of January to the 31st of December, whereas... Australia is the 1st of July to the 30th of June. I think some other countries are similar to that as well. But yeah, if that's the case, then people might maybe probably sell off and um, need to pay for some things, I guess. Honestly, I'm just having a stab of it because that's what I hear. I don't know how much truth there is behind that. Five bucks. My name is Brad. Can you possibly look at Bingus token at a coin to help one animals one percent transaction? Uh, no, I haven't looked at it. I probably won't look at it. I'm just not sure of these coins that come out to help other things and people and animals. The same with like, what are we on now? Bonfire. I'm not looking at Bonfire. Sorry. No offense. <laughs> Probably do well. You've all probably made a ton of money from the meme coins, but come on. It's not a meme coin. It does this, that, the other. Okay. Um, yeah, the, the coins that are looking to just be there for charity, I. it doesn't make sense to me. I've never seen anything work in that sense, and I don't understand why people would want to purchase a charity coin to then, you know, it, just, it doesn't make sense. Yeah, I know 1% will go to these things, but you could do that from Ethereum or from Bitcoin or start a business where people actually want to use it and then donate the 1% or 2% to the, the charity that you want to give it to. Uh, coins like Traders Stars, I don't know. Jason, what about coins that didn't perform well in recent ICO due to gas price and money flowing into meme coins? What about them? Probably, I mean, if they if they didn't do well then, they're probably not going to do well when the market's going down. <laughs> Zill, I'll have Zill coming up on the channel. Five, Zozu. Rocky app. Music NFTs. Wink, what do you think about Stella partnering with Visa? Is that old news? Like, not in a bad way, because I look at old news as well. I think if that is the case, 
let's see what they're actually partnering about because Visa's also partnered with CRO to work with, which works on Ethereum. So why, why you know, I guess it's a partnership. What does Stellar need them for? Another, another chain that's cheaper, but CRO can do that. Elon sperm. <laughs> is it ridiculous enough to trend? It it probably is, but remember people are remember people's emotions. When the market is down like this, I I don't know if it's going to pump on a day like today. If we can swing the narrative and the, the positive energy across the entire world in cryptocurrency then you'll probably get some pumps. That's why Doge was pumping. That's why Shiba Inu is pumping and SafeMoon and all that's pumping because the overall feel of the market is well and truly up. But at the moment, it's not feeling so good. Like, let's wrap. Let's look at uh, Bitcoin. Let's get a final look on this. ETH BTC. Let's look at Bitcoin. Where are we at? 50,300. We've come back. We have bounced back. I have to move this over. Look at that. It hit my buy level after all of that. See, that was that was patient as well. I, I didn't get I didn't FOMO into it through here where it was buy this dip, buy this dip, buy this dip. No, 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 no. So we are now down 29 days. This will be the longest period beneath a previous all-time high that we've seen on Bitcoin through this bull market, uh, if you want to call it from the all-time high. But if you want to call it from the absolute low, then obviously we can't do that because it was below beneath the old all-time high. But anyway, the point being, this will be the longest period that we're below the all-time high. So just keep note of that in terms of time frames. People are asking about what about the end of the week, end of the month? Just look at time frames. 31 days from this all-time high to when it broke out again. So you want to know when the price is going to go up. That's why I'm mentioning these. 20 days, all-time high to a peak. All-time highs, I think it was that day, actually. 30 days. So we're now at 29 days. I don't think we're going to break 65,000 in the next one or two days. I think most people will probably agree on that at this stage. <clears throat> we would need to see very heavy, heavy volume coming in. Billions and billions and billions coming through. Uh, staking, I don't, oh, good question. I have not even looked into that. Minimum ADA to be able to stake. I don't think you need a minimum. Is there a minimum ADA stake? 10, Cardano staking system requires a minimum of 10 ADA in a wallet to be eligible for delegation. 10 ADA, that's what you need. So yeah, if you do want to do that, check out uh, the link down below, TIA is the ticker. That's for the Investor Accelerator Cardano staking pool. Your link is down below. And then, of course, you can stay up to date on the channel with the Cardano price predictions, price forecasts, price updates. And you can do that for free anyway. Like, you can stay on the channel and watch anyway. Speaking of that, make sure you're subscribed. Like the video up if you haven't already. Hit the like button. Twitter. Join me on Twitter. Join me on Instagram. I'm reading off here because I've got so many things that people are finding a lot of good use from. You guys are loving the Instagrams, Q&As, and a look at my portfolio. Uh, you're loving Twitter because we're talking about crypto news and I can share stuff a lot quicker over there. Newsletter, it's free. You love that, of course. It's talking about cryptocurrency. We get into some stocks just to show how to use the, the trading tools on those stocks. Let's look at um, Coinbase, for example. Oh, it's on USD, damn. We're seeing a low. What do we got? $256. I don't want I don't want it on FTX. Coinbase. Damn it. All NASDAQ. That's better. So where do we get down to? 250. Wow, we had a little bounce out. So that was the newsletter. SwiftX, Australian Exchange. Link to that is in the description down below. So you can buy, sell cryptocurrencies in Australia. Uh, Blockfolio is another a company that I've partnered with 
you know, I've been using them for years. I love the app. You see it on my Instagram stories. Uh, I use it to track my portfolios. It's nice, clean, simple, nice layout. Now you can even trade on that app as well. So you just connect your accounts to it and it's like a nice, clean trading app on the go. What else have we got? TIA, the Investor Accelerator. So check that out. That's basically where a lot of uh, a lot of you guys have come across. There's about 400, maybe a few more now in the crew that are learning to trade and invest crypto stocks. And I do a lot to do with property as well. So that's just looking at property cycles. All right. So keep that in mind. Guys, I reckon we've done pretty well today. We've covered the Bitcoin bull. We have watched Bitcoin get crushed through $47,000. Shouldn't really say crushed. Well, it only made it a few hundred bucks below, right? $46,600, $400 below our our low of $47,000. And now we have broken back above yesterday's close and our open. So things are looking okay currently. Remember the things we wanted to see happen. We need to see it close higher and then for multiple days above these closes, above these levels of the, the 50K zone, 49 to 50K zone. I'll give you an update with this in future videos as well. This will be my video for today. I've got a few other videos to get out. Um, looking at Uniquely, which got a little bit hit up today. It's an NFT project. Yeah, Uniquely. Oh, this is against the ETH price anyway. Um, this one is doing digital NFTs to physical, and then you can also do physical NFTs to digital. Interesting. I'm talking about it a lot more in a video. I'll probably release it today or tomorrow. So stay tuned on the channel for that. Yes, I'll have Cardano updates, Ethereum updates, Bitcoin updates. I'll be able to get a better idea of some levels. It, probably in the next couple of days, what I'm looking for, for Bitcoin. And we'll take it from there. But I've gone through the whole list of everything that you can sign up to and join for free and get all the extra nurse entertainment over on those socials in a month. You know what happens next. Thank you very much for your time, support, likes, subscriptions to the channel. Come on, let us know down below. I'll wrap it up there. I'm uh, rambling now. Hopefully George is online. Let's go. Let's go have a say hello to George. We are all George and I'll sign out from that point. Until next time, guys.